Um, so I am at the Delhi airport. I'm done with my immigration and everything. However, <laughs> I have a story to share. So um, what I did is um, from Hyderabad, I made my flight timings were changed. Um, I was supposed to fly at 9:30 in the morning, but they changed it to 6:30 in the morning, and I woke up at three, and I, my mind just didn't work that I have to record and everything. So here's what happened. Um, I did my security clearance and everything and then I was just like walking to my gate like la 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 and then suddenly it kicks me in that I don't have my luggage my handbag and <laughs> I started looking throughout the airport like where did like where could I possibly drop my bag and then it kicked me I never picked it up from the checking like the security part I was like oh my god I've learned a lesson this that and everything and I call my um I like I call Shanu up and I tell him the same thing um so and so has happened and you should go be careful you know next time like when you you've learned a lesson now so be, just be careful i was like yeah 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 and then guess what like for reals guess what like i do my immigration in delhi after i land and then um i go to the check-in again <laughs> and i forget my bag i'm such a forgetful person like i'm not used to carrying so many bags like for reals like i'm not used to carrying so many bags and now i have this bag right here this one this is actually from Zara and this was actually a gift um, from Shanu's um, mommy and this bag had to bail out on me like for whales it had that a uh, long strap where you can actually make it like a sling bag and the strap broke that was that and then now I am just like I don't know what to do oh my god Delhi airport is so fucking awesome like sorry it's so awesome they have Chanel they have Dior they have Givenchy, they have YSL, they have Gucci, they have every fucking thing. Sorry again. <laughs> but then, I don't know, if I buy it right now, then what am I going to do in like Australia airport, you know? I just don't want to like explore anything right now. I just want to save everything for Australia because I have like 12 hours stay over there. Um, I'm planning to eat something, so I might just go ahead and uh, grab something from McDonald's. Hopefully they have my hash browns and... Um, I don't know, I hope they have something good to eat. So I'm just gonna go there and probably you can follow me around there. And I'm just gonna freshen up a little bit. Just says dead fucking harm. See ya. Another freaking goof up I did. I forgot a kangi. I thought um I've packed everything. I'm not gonna forget anything. I forgot my kangi. Oh. And I'm gonna handle my hair. These people literally like rob every single person here. Oh my god, look at my new shoes. One looks really cute and the other one looks really dirty. And I've been trying to keep it clean but it ain't happening. guys uh, so right now I am in Sydney I had a halt of um, 12 hours hello YouTube hi this is Shano well so you all know that uh, Shino is visiting me in Christchurch New Zealand and uh, so uh, currently I just uh, got her message and currently she is in Sydney right now and she's getting bored so I thought, you know, let me do something special for her because, you know, she always used to tell me, I used to always tell her, you know, I've cooked this today, I've cooked that. And she told me, oh, you never cook anything for me. So I plan of cooking something special for her. So I thought of cooking her favorite dish, which is chicken 65 and dal chal. She used to always tell me. So the chicken 65 already diced the chicken. So ready, I'm going to start marinating it around, you know, throw a lot of masalas in there, garam masala and lots of masalas in there and marinate it so that we could cook it together tomorrow 
So, I'll start marinating. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so yeah, so the marination is ready right now. It took me like 10-15 minutes to do it. So, well, she doesn't really know I'm cooking. So, tomorrow when she'll be here, we'll be frying this together. And same time, I guess she'll be here at same time. So, see, the marination is ready. I hope she like it. And maybe I'll share the recipe with you, as, with you guys as well in case if she loves it. I'm sure she will. Alright, see ya. That is a freaking a lot of hours. Um, but anyway, so um, I did a good damage. Yes. And I've been wanting to do that for really long. Like, I had a budget, it fit in my budget. So I'm good. First thing that I actually bought is like really um, normal to buy. And I should have bought this in Delhi itself. But then I was like, eh, nah, who's gonna carry? Blah, blah, blah. So I bought this. Um, neck rester or the neck pillow what's it called neck pillow yeah so it's pretty easy for you to fall asleep because when i fall asleep it's either this or it's either that so um to avoid all that i just got a um pillow and the next thing that i picked up from tax free is let me show you and they better be good drum rolls okay dun, dun, dun. I picked up a duo foundation. I was like, yes! Um, so this one costed me around $68 and there was no tax on it because if you buy it in the States, they do have some tax on it, but then I didn't get any tax. So um, it's all good. And my hair looks so flat right now. Like I do not like my hair without volume. Um, I They do have shower um, areas. But the water was really cold. So girlfriend did not want to take a risk washing the hair out and then like getting like falling sick again and uh, right now i'm just waiting for my flight finally <laughs> from sydney to christchurch where my um family is and uh, hopefully this shit is over <laughs> and i'm done with this flying so i'll see you in christchurch with him bye So this guy right here is my sexy chef and we are making 65 so we've already done a few um, right here and he's gonna put some in. This is 65. I think yeah, it's a lot for both of us, right? I think it, we're gonna have it with my family as well. Take a look. Ha ha ha, it smells amazing. Right, Shin? I think she should say it. It smells amazing as well as it tastes amazing too. So now we're planning for Tarka. So we have garlic ready, we have mirchi ready, another mirchi ready, and we have some lemon ready. So are we, what are we going to do for Tarka? Tarka, I'll put some oil, some garlic, mm -hmm. little chilies, some uh, red peppers. Then I'll throw the 65, then I'll squeeze the nimbu on the tarka right on the pan so that gives a nice aroma. And let me tell you, he's a big ass fan of nimbu. I love kata. I need kata. Mm. 